Mula sa pitong po noong isang libo siyam naraan at apat na putwalo, ngayon ay mahigit na isang daan at limampung libo ang mga debotong nagdarasal dito sa baklaran kada linggo. Noong Abril isang libo walong raan, anim na putanim, ipinagkatiwala ni Papa Pio Siam ang banal na larawan o icon ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo sa mga redenturista at inatasang ipakilala siya o make her known. Makalipas ang apat na pung taon, dinala ang icon sa Pilipinas, ang imahe ng ina ng laging saklolo at ng anak niyang si Jesus na ating tagapagligtas ang nagbigay hugi sa mga misyon ng mga redenturista bilang mga misyonero para sa mga kapatid nating lubos na nangangailangan. Ang kauna-unahang perpetual novena tuwing Miyerkules na dinasal sa dambana ng ina ng laging saklolo dito sa baklaran ay noong 1948. Dito sinimula ng magdasal bilang isang komunidad kung saan idinudulog ang mga pang-araw-araw na alalahanin at pasasalamat ng mga deboto. Sa malaki mong pagkaawa ay hihingin mo sa iyong banal na anak na marapating dinggin, tanggapin at bigyang pala ang pagganap ko sa banal na gawain ito. Mula sa pitong pung katao, nadagdagan ang deboto kada linggo. Bago matapos ang taong 1948, nagsimula na ring dagdagan ang mga misanubenaryo sa dambana dahil sa patuloy na pagdami ng mga tao. Ang simbahan ng baklaran ay maituturing na isang sagradong tahanan ng pakikipag-ugnayan sa Panginoong Hesus sa pamamagitan ni Inay. Iniaalay ng mga deboto ang kwento ng kanilang buhay kay Inay Maria na siya namang nagdadala sa kandungan ng anak na si Jesus Kristo. Ang kaganapan ng debosyon sa mahal na ina ng lagi sa klolo ay naisasabuhay ng iba't ibang paraan kung saan ang mga deboto ay nakikibahagi sa pagiging saklolo sa kapwa lalo na sa mga kapuspalad. Pinakamamahal na ina, habang kami nababahala sa sarili naming mga suliranin, huwag sana naming malimutan ang mga pangangailangan ng iba. Mahal na mahal mo sila, tulungan mong maging ganito rin ang aming pagmamahal sa kanila. Ito ang debosyon na may kaakibat na misyon, Debo Misyon, sa pambansang dambana ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo dito sa baklaran. Ang mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, ang ating mapagmahal at maawaing tagapamagitan patungo kay Jesus, ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters, today is Thursday in the 11th week in Ordinary Time and the fifth day of our Novena Mass in honor of our titular patroness, our mother of perpetual help. The theme of this year's celebration is Amen, 75 years of blessings and thanksgiving. Our Mass presider for this evening is His Excellency, the Most Reverend Pablito Tagura, SVD, DD, the Vicar Apostolic of Apostolic Vicariate of San Jose Occidental Mindoro. Please all rise as we begin the Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Together, merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please all be seated. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Rohilda Montejo Malyari, isa sa mga sumulat ng liham pasasalamat dito sa pambansang Dambana ng ina ng laging saklolo noong March 22, 2023. It's exactly uh, three months today. Ito po ang aking liham pasasalamat. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, Maraming maraming salamat po sa walang sawang pagsama sa dasal ng aking kahilingan. Noong December pa po dapat itong liham ng pasasalamat. Gusto ko lang po magpasalamat dahil isa po ako sa napagkalooban ng Saskatchewan Canada Pilot Project ng mga nurses. By God's grace po, naoferan po ako makasali mabigyan ng conditional job offer. Dream come true po ito para sa aking pamilya. Dalawang dekada or more than 20 years po ako naghintay sa pagkakataon na ito at sobra pong nagagalak ang puso ng aking pamilya. Tunay na walang imposible sa ating mapagmahal na Diyos. Dahil hindi man maipaliwanag kung paano ako napili kasi lahat ng mga qualification ay wala or kulang ako. 
Alam ko, mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, ang pagmamahal at dasal mo sa amin sa iyong anak na si Jesus at sa ating Diyos Ama ang naging daan para matupad ang matagal ng inaasam ng aking puso. November 30, 2022, Wednesday, dumaan at nagnubina kami ng kapatid ko at mama ko, first time niya po, dito sa iyong dambana, ang bilis ng sagot. Kasi December 1, 2022, Thursday, doon na po nag-umpisa ang Canada gift ng ating Panginoon. December 14, 2022, ako ay nakatunggap ng conditional job offer. Alam na alam niyo Lord, kung ano lang ang meron ako. At lahat ng kulang ay pinuno niyo ng pagmamahal. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Totoo ang kasabihan na you qualify the unqualified. Ang dami ko na rin pong natanggap na mga extraordinary graces and blessings. Mula nung nag-start ako, mag-novino dito, uh, dito sa inyong dambana noong June 2007. We'll always be grateful and thankful sa lahat ng prayers, mother or perpetual help. Thank you so much, Lord, for all your unending love, mercy, graces, and blessing. Humbly asking you, Lord, to guide and bless me with this gift, your Canada dream. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. I uh, Allow me to thank the priests and nuns, all the staff here, for giving me this opportunity. Na basahin yung letter ko because March 23, I was really here nung binabasa yung letter ko, and I believe not everyone was given the chance. So talagang kinuha ko po yung opportunity na during the feast day of Mother Perpetual Help, I will be one of the sharer. And uh, just this morning, before andito ako to share, I just received an extraordinary blessing again, and that would be another part two of my letter. So thank you so much, and I love you, Lord. Happy Feast Day, Mother Perpetual Health. Nagmamahal ing yung anak, Rohilda Montejo Malyari. Results. Let star of the morning. Novena Prayer.
Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for a mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Together, while you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials, sometimes the almost crushes to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another, full of trust in You, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for a compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as the queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers, to your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of the day. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like our own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, Pray for us, that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, 
pray for us that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may work for the just distribution of these words goods. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may defend human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. All together, Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please all stand and let us sing Mother of Christ.
peace be with you. As we prepare to celebrate the mysteries of Christ's love, let us implore the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy, for we have sinned against thee. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Chelsea's day.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, we may be set free from the present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me. For I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that, as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and I will refrain from burdening you in any way by the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He 
as one we know for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing and make the sign of the cross for the blessing of the book of the Holy Gospel.
Please be seated. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us take a look once again at the picture of our mother of perpetual help. Perhaps you have the picture in your booklet. And let us focus our attention on the child Jesus. What is his face turned to? It is not to our mother of perpetual help, but to the angel bearing the instruments of the passion. Yes, we were told that the angel showed the instruments of the passion to the child Jesus. At this, what did Jesus do? Being afraid, he ran to our blessed mother and because he ran, that is the reason why one of his sandals was about to fall. Jesus ran to his mother for help. He ran to our mother of perpetual help. If this is what Jesus did when he was in trouble, we, his followers, must do the same. And I don't have to repeat this because we are also already doing that. And we all know that Our Lady will help us. The Gospels do not give us many accounts of Mary's life. But in two instances, we find the helping love of our mother. First, the gospel tells us that after she consented to be the mother of Jesus and was told that Elizabeth, her cousin, was pregnant, she hurried through the mountains to help her give birth. She helped her in giving birth. The second account pictures Our Lady attending the wedding at Cana in Galilee. Yes, she was invited, but there she was to help and not to be helped. She wanted to help the new couple from embarrassment when the wine was getting short. And so she went to her son Jesus and said, they have no more wine. The other, in other words, kulang ang handa nila. What an embarrassment that would have been. Our Lady of Perpetual Help was there to help. Incidentally, we stop here to learn from Our Lady. Our Lady just said, they have no more wine. She did not tell Jesus to do something. She had that trust in Jesus 
to do something. And although Jesus said, my hour has not yet come, he performed the first miracle because Our Lady asked for it. In other words, we see here the power of Our Lady's intercession. So in our need, we too should have the same trust that Jesus will give us what we need if we ask him through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Jesus performed the first miracle because Our Lady asked him to. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus will grant our request through the intercession of Our Lady. The church prays and says, never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection was left unaided. Sometimes even what we do not ask is granted us through her intercession. In all her apparitions, Our Lady shows us our, his, her loving help. She is there to help until all her sons and daughters have reached the heavenly shores. And now, a few thoughts from the Gospel. The Gospel that we just heard. Jesus said, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of many words. Jesus is reminding us to pray from the heart and not just utter words. He also said, if you forgive others, their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you. And this forgiveness must be heartfelt. It must be from the heart. I remember having read about two friends somehow they became enemies. When one of them got sick and dying, others advised the healthy one to visit, visit his friends. He did so, and the two friends started talking once again. But just as the healthy friend was about to leave, the sick person suddenly shouted, If I die, this reconciliation will be effective. But if I recover, the war continues. Was this forgiveness from the heart? I doubt it. Brothers and sisters, I know that all of us here know and feel the love of Our Lady of Perpetual Help for us. We ask her today to ask her son that we may continue to pray and forgive from the heart and not merely utter words of prayer and forgiveness. I know that you all believe in her powerful intercession. I know that you all go to her in time of need. I just hope and pray that these few thoughts will strengthen our devotion to our mother of perpetual help.
Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that we and our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings and the that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary, the mother of perpetual help. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all kneel. Let us silently pray for our sick brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us pray as we receive the heavenly sacrament. We beseech, O Lord, your mercy that we rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary. May by imitating her, imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. We are down with our fifth day of our Novena Mass in preparation for the feast day of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us thank the Lord for gathering us today. In a special way, we thank our main presider, Most Reverend Ernesto Salgado, DD, Archbishop Emeritus of the Diocese of Nueva Segovia. Thank you, dear Archbishop, for celebrating with us. Despite coming from a very recent eye surgery, he still said yes to be able to join us in our celebration on this fifth day of our Novena Mass. You might have noticed, my dear brothers and sisters, that uh, we have quite a number of priests and redemptorists here with us, celebrating with us. Just allow me to introduce some of them. Uh, we welcome and we thank our dear Superior General Father Rogerio Gomez for celebrating with us today and for visiting us, not just today, but in the coming days. With him is our General Consultor, Father Ivel Bendanha. Thank you, fathers. So we give them a round of applause and a warm welcome in our shrine. Also with us this evening is our yesterday's main celebrant conference Coordinator Father Benma, thank you for joining us once again in this evening's celebration. And represented in this gathering are my brother priests and confers from some redemptorist units. I would like to uh, just mention some of them. Uh, we have here the delegates redemptorists from the province of Cebu headed by their uh, provincial superior, Father Edilberto Sepe. Thank you, Father Bert. Also representing from the, provin the, the province of Oceania, we have here Father Michael Gilbert. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Present as well, representing uh, Japan Redemptorist, Father Ofan. Salamat datang. And of course, confers from Indonesia who are here. They're just right there. Also, we have here in our midst the newly appointed Vice Provincial Superior of Redemptorist Malaysia, Singapore, Father Victorino Cueto. And of course, my dear brothers from the Vice Province of Manila, from the different communities in Luzon. Uh, they are here with some of the delegates for tomorrow's 
Baclaran Pilgrimage Congress. Some of the delegates are already here seated. If you are there, may I invite you to please stand so that our devotees would also recognize you. Although this is not yet the formal opening, but please stand up to be recognized. So tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, until Sunday, we'll be here for a three-day pilgrimage congress. The devotees and redemptorists from uh, different parts of the Philippines and other countries, they will be here with us. So we ask for your prayers that we may have a very meaningful uh, pilgrimage congress. Also, in today's celebration, I would like to thank the letter sender to our mother, Perpetual Help, who read her letter. Uh, her personal witness of God's love through Mary was a testament of God's perpetual embrace and love for us. So we thank her for sharing her story. Also, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakibahagi sa ating pagdiriwang, sa lahat ng mga shrine ministries, and of course, sa uh, inyong lahat, mga kapwa deboto ng ina ng laging saklolo, you are part of what makes our celebration holy. Makita kita tayong muli bukas at hopefully hanggang sa araw ng kapistahan ng ating minamahal na ina. Just a little announcement after the final blessing ay gagawin natin ng ating karakol. So we invite everyone to join us as we dance and sing to our Mother Mary. Sa muli, maraming maraming salamat po. you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for God's blessing blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth and may the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon Amen. you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.